we're asked to find the general solution to the system of differential equations. We have y1 prime equals 3y1, y2 prime equals y1 plus y2, and y3 prime equals y1 plus y3. Notice the first differential equation only contains y1 prime and y1. We can solve this for y1 using separation of variables. Let's first write y1 prime as dy1 dx. And now we separate the variables. This gives us one divided by y1 dy1 equals three dx. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. This gives us natural log absolute value of y1 equals three x plus c, where c is a constant. Next, we exponentiate both sides of the equation with a base of e. Notice the right side of the equation is always positive, and therefore when simplifying on the left, we can drop the absolute value. The left simplifies to y1, giving us y1 equals e to the three x times e to the c. e to the c is just some constant, we'll call that c sub one, giving us y1 equals c1 e to the three x. Now that we know y1 is equal to c1 e to the three x, we can substitute c1 e to the three x for y1 in the second and third differential equations. This makes the second differential equation y2 prime equals c1 e to the three x plus y2. The third equation becomes y3 prime equals c1 e to the three x plus y3. And we can solve both of these differential equations using an integrating factor. And I've included the notes below for review. Before we use the method of the integrating factor, we need to subtract y2 on both sides of the second equation and subtract y3 on both sides of the third equation. Notice for both equations, p of x is equal to negative one and therefore, in both cases, the integrating factor r of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of negative one dx, which means the integrating factor is e to the negative x. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equations by e to the negative x. For the second equation, we have e to the negative x times the quantity y two prime minus y two equals e to the negative x times c one e to the three x. And for the third equation, we have e to the negative x times the quantity y three prime minus y three equals e to the negative x c one e to the three x. Going back to our second equation, the left side is now equal to the derivative of the integrating factor times y two. Simplifying on the right, e to the negative x times e to the three x is e to the two x, giving us c one e to the two x. Similarly, for the third equation, the left side is now equal to the derivative with respect to x of e to the negative x and y three. And the right side is c one e to the two x. And now we integrate both sides of both equations with respect to x. Going back over to the second equation, on the left side, the integral undoes the derivative and we're left with e to the negative x y two equals, to integrate on the right, we need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to two x du equals two dx, and therefore one half du equals dx. The antiderivative of c one e to the two x with respect to x is c one times one half e to the two x plus c, Let's write that as c1 divided by two e to the two x plus c sub two. And now to solve for y2, we multiply both sides by e to the x, which gives us y2 equals c1 divided by two e to the two x times e to the x is e to the three x, and then plus c2 e to the x. And for the left side of the third equation, again, the integral undoes the derivative and we're left with e to the negative x y three equals on the right, we have c1 divided by two e to the two x plus, we'll call the constant c three. 
And to solve for y3, we multiply both sides by e to the x, which gives us y3 is equal to c1 divided by two e to the three x plus c3 e to the x. And now we have the general solution to the system of differential equations. The general solution is y1 equals c1 e to the three x, y2 equals c1 divided by two e to the three x plus c2 e to the x, and y3 equals c1 divided by two e to the three x plus c three e to the x. I hope you found this helpful.